Get one play touchdown opportunities building off of that Z spot out of the empty gun bunch formation. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, you're new to my channel. Make sure you sit, hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So guys, we're going to be talking about a play that I've never really broken down and I haven't ran before, but it is a good play to go ahead and throw into your scheme. And you can pretty much find it in almost every single playbook. There's a variation of it somewhere that you can find it. Now, I'm going to be taking a look at the gun and empty bunch uh, formation uh, out of the Steelers, also the Seahawks. And where are you at? Where are you, pay at Panthers? Right here. Who's we're going to be looking at is out of the Panthers playbook and how I'm going to run this particular play. What's cool about it is you can run it all bunch of different ways. You can run it with different route combinations and stuff like that and you can really open up how this play works. But what's cool about it is this spot and go play. Uh, it is going to get crazy uh, separation against your opponent and a lot of the the zones don't play it correctly so they're going to have to manually play that route or at least man up your guy and even if they man it up he's not going to be on him on him like uh, rice on uh, white on rice because uh, this guy actually sits and then he bounces really quick and it's very difficult to stop so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple adjustments that I would make with this play and how effective it is against different types of coverages now, once again, it's a Z spot in go. It's a good complement to the Z spot. Uh, and this play is, is, is designed to get you big plays right down the middle of the field. And we're going to run against man blitzes right away just so you can have your fast reads. Uh, and I like to slide this guy over so I keep, keep showing my opponent the same type of a look. And if you want to, you could throw this receiver right away against man blitzes and still give your opponent the same type of look with Z spot. So that's what's actually cool about it. Right here is a situation you're probably not going to see a lot online. Uh, but you can see I can pop that route really quick uh, if i got a guy that's a lot of heavy blisting. Now, you've got a C route and also um, a route on the back end side, which is going to be a, a little corner route or uh, by, by Gronk. Either one of those routes you can actually hit against your opponent uh, to pick up some pretty easy yards. So those are something you can jump into. Now, what if you got a guy that runs a lot of cover too? Well, you can essentially go ahead and leave the play stock. I like to streak up the running back or actually put him on a fly route. And then once again, I'm just going to watch this little stop and go. And as you can see how he actually gets kind of a release right there. The defender doesn't play him. That's where you can pop him for some pretty big, uh, big yards. So let's go ahead and streak up Gurley. Uh, try to give our opponent another read right here. And let's see if the defender follows Gurley. He does. So you can actually go ahead and pop that and pick up a good, good, good 10 yards or so. Another thing you could do too is you can make an adjustment where you could take your inside receivers, your running back and your, and your wide receiver number three, and put them on drags. And if I get my blocks to hold, watch what happens. Right here, this guy actually gets an easy separation. It gives me an opportunity to get a one-play touchdown if I can beat those safeties to the, to the end zone. So that's another thing that you could do against your opponent. Uh, that's what I do like about this particular play. So let's just go ahead and do two uh, double drags, give ourselves a mesh concept, and now you've got an opportunity for a huge play right down the middle of your field against your opponent. And if you start beating him up underneath, he's going he's gonna to hate that. One adjustment could be playing hard flats. If he plays hard flats against you, you got a deep corner out on the back end side that you can attack too. So that's another area of the field that you can look to. So really just attacking your opponent deep in the middle of the field. The corner routes are going to be wide open. And you can actually go ahead and hit him with these little drag routes too, just to make it even more difficult for him. So it's just a very good play. And if you if you hold your blocks, you're going to pick up some major yards against cover two shells. Now against cover three, um, basically I like to do the phone. If I see a th I see a, a single high safety or a single high. Um, a defender in the middle of the field, I'm going to go and streak up or fade up my running back. Now, what's going to happen is a lot of times you'll be able to go and pop this route on the back inside. Now, I didn't hold on to the ball, but you can see with consistency, consistently, consistency with a cover three shell, Brown is going to get inside the defender, and the defender is going to let him go, and I can pop my opponent for 15 yards in an area that he's just not going to be able to use her. So once again, that's just another thing that's going to force your opponent to go and make major major reads. Now another thing too, 
is you'll get this opportunity. Let's see if we can come up with the ball. Right there, he doesn't come up with the ball, but you're going to be able to go ahead and just do a, a laser for some huge plays if you actually if you go ahead and streak up this guy. So let's go and just do a straight streak and see if we can get that past defenders. Here we go. Hold on to the ball. There you come on, man. you got to hold on to the ball for me. I probably need to do a possession catch on it. But I have gotten touchdowns off of this play against my opponent uh, with the streak route like this because it's just very, very difficult to stop. So let him pass the defender. Pop it. Grab it. Hold on to it. Gurley, you got to hold on to that ball, buddy. That was in your hand, man. So uh, let's go ahead and try it one more time. I show you guys this does work. I've used this online. I've passed... 30 yards against my opponents. Let's go ahead and hold on to that. Thank you, Gurley. Thank you for holding on to it and showing me that it works. But, yeah, this is just another area of the field that you can do against your opponent. And you've also got that stop-and-go route, which is that play-action play stop-and-go. And, look, the guy clears out. There's no one around. Nobody around. So now you're popping your opponent in three different areas of the field. He doesn't, he's not going to know what to do with himself. And if, you, if he's giving you a, a cover-two shell look, uh, basically, you're going to do that uh, <clears throat> same type of setup as we showed before. And right now, you see the middle of the field was wide open. I was watching the flash just to see if I can get that there. Uh, but the middle of the field was wide open against the CPU. So he's going to have to use that route. And this is going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and get easy completions down the middle of the field. So just another way to run the ball. So you drop the ball. I don't care. you got to see it's the route progressions of making the right reads. So what if you have a guy that runs a lot of cover four against you? So let's go with the streak concept with the running back slide our guys in. Once again, this guy is going to give you an easy completion right down the seam. So you can just run the same look against your opponent. What about streaking up the running back? Well, the running back should probably get carried over. But look at this. It clears out once again for easy completion. And because you got the running back clearing out those top zones, he's going to be able to get a good 20 yards for you. What if you go ahead and, and do um, basically drags with your two inside receivers? Well, this should open things up for you. Once again, another opportunity with that spot route. Drop pass right there, but you guys see well, how open it is, how the defenders are clearing out, and he's going to have to manually stop that. And if you just check it down to these little release routes, this is going to drive him nuts too, and he's going to start playing underneath to go and stop those routes. So guys, this is, a, this is a play that you'll be going to be seeing me use in gameplay. It's just a part of a little master scheme that I like to use. Uh, and you can just check it down low or wait for the plays, for the routes to develop. Uh, you can get some pretty easy yards with this good play and get yards get some deep yards and an opportunity to get some um, one-play touchdowns if he doesn't play it correctly. So once again to my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll be rolling out more gameplay with this game, with this, with this, uh, this scheme. And um, I'll, if you guys want to see more of that, make sure you smash the like button. And until next time.